a brief tour of the Sunny Island system by SMA using only a single Sunny Island inverter and a Sunny remote control. The Sunny remote control is used all, uh, only on the Sunny Island inverters which are generation model 11. So if you look at the Sunny Island label on the right hand side of the inverter you will see an 11 after the model number. That means that a Sunny remote control is used as part of the system. The remote control is one per inverter in a single inverter system, one per cluster in a multi-cluster system. So here we can see three components which are of importance. On the right hand side we have a battery fuse which on the positive conductor connects the positive conductor from the battery bank to the Sunny Island inverter and that battery is, fuse is now closed. In the center we have the inverter itself displaying green LEDs. The top LED is either green, meaning that it is operating, orange, meaning that it's in standby, or red, meaning that there is a fault. You should never see red uh, on the top LED. The middle, middle LED is indicating that we connected either to grid or generator and the bottom LED is giving us an indication of battery condition. Green for any state of charge above 50%, orange for any state of charge between 50% and 20% and red for any state of charge below 20%. Again Green is preferred to be displayed at all times. Orange, if depending on your battery settings, you have decided to discharge your batteries below 50%, is then acceptable. But red, meaning state of charge below 20%, is not advised. Right, the system is controlled by the remote, at the remote control. Pressing the button wakes up the display and certain information is displayed on the remote control screen and by turning the button to the right you can see various screens displaying the status of the system. In other videos we'll talk about using this remote to get into expert mode to change parameters uh, and conduct various commissioning operations and so on. In the event that your remote control is not working and you need to put the system into standby or shut down the inverters completely, uh, instead of using the remote control, we can put the system into standby on the inverter or on the master inverter of each cluster uh, by pressing and holding this left hand button, which I will do now. Press and hold which was not for long enough. Lesson learned, press and hold until we hear the transfer relay inside the inverter turn off and the uh, top LED goes to steady orange. So in a multi-cluster system, you only need to do this at the main master. We can then also start the system running without the remote control by pressing and holding this button until we hear a beep at which time the inverter restarts and power is restored to your site. But generally speaking, you will want to control your system at the remote itself. So to put the system into standby, we press and hold, watch the countdown bar, and the system you will see has gone into standby again, as indicated by the orange LED on the inverter. The remote control display says that the system is in standby and the message is start inverter, meaning the system is ready to restart. We press and hold, watch the countdown bar, hear the beep and the system will restart. Just bear in mind that it may take up to 50 seconds or even closer to a minute for multi-cluster systems to restart uh, after a shutdown. 